What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about the update that is coming with, of course, the new DLC for Rainbow Six Siege today. Um, I've still got a cold, guys, so I'm sorry if my voice is absolutely goes nuts during the middle of this commentary. But we'll get into some of the things that are the changes. Of course, I'm going to link all of this in the description below, all of the patch notes. And character-wise, I'll get into those first. The only two things that are changing for characters besides bug fixes is going to be for Capital and for IQ. Instead of Capital using grenades now, he will have a Claymore, so Claymore will replace the grenades. And same goes for IQ. Instead of her having stun grenades, she will now have grenades. So she's getting rid of her stuns for grenades, and Capital is getting rid of his grenades for a Claymore. I think this will make IQ a little bit more of a viable player now on the attacking side because of those grenades. I think that will help her uh, play style out a little bit more. Um, the other things that are happening with characters are all bug fixes. And just for an idea, uh, Jaeger was able to place his um, gadget onto a movable object like a shield a character could have. And if that shield was taken down and moved, that that uh, his gadget was still placed on that. Those kind of bugs and fixes like that. Some of the things like with Ash was able to destroy uh, some some items or some gadgets uh, from opposite walls that she was shooting at. Like if you were shooting a, a, her charge on a wall, it would blow up gadgets opposite of that wall. So those kind of things are being fixed. Also, Sledge could breach the wall from behind. Some of his uh, teammates that might be using a shield like Montaigne or something like that, Montagna, you know, you, you could breach the wall from behind his shield so you kind of could have some cover. They're just fixing some minor bugs like that that are causing issues in the game. There's a lot of those kind of things, so I'll let you guys check that out. Like I said in the description below, you can see all those bug fixes. But the only changes that were coming to characters, like I said, that were really going to affect gameplay were IQ and Capital. Of course, we're going to get the new operators and the new maps. We're also going to get four new weapon skins along with the DLC. And, of course, we're going to get Rook's uh, Elite skin, which looks pretty awesome. The ranked uh, display is going to change to make it easier to decide if you're playing against silver, bronze, gold, platinum. You know, some of those colors, uh, especially a lot when you get around silver and platinum, and diamond people could not decipher what what rank that they were playing against also they're going to change the way that it works before you know if you were gold four you are almost about to move up in rank on to the next on to platinum now that's going to be changed now at the lower tier of any of the uh, any of the ranks four will be the lowest and one will be the highest so now to move on to platinum you will have to be gold one instead of gold four it's going to mo move it to me in, in a more of a a normal pattern to me it was kind of odd before that you went backwards in numbers to to, come, to get uh to a higher rank so now like i said guys when you move up in rank you will be one instead of four uh the next thing that they're going to change and this is going to be one that's kind of interesting to me is rectical changes for like red dots or any of the sites for that matter they said some of these sites were performing differently on some weapons not like kill wise but visual wise the way they looked the red dots the way that it shows, uh, kind of like you look at my gun right now, you see more of the base of the red dot. They said some weapons that showed more of the base of the gun, some weapons that showed more of the reticle up front. So they're going to change that to make it more visually appealing for all of the uh, all of the sites themselves and also to make them perform the same for everyone. That way that you're not getting more of a visual display than some people using it on a different weapon. Uh, also... We're going to get menu upgrades. Of course, that is the one thing that looks really, really cool to me is the way they're going to change the UI. You're going to be able to do a lot of different things with this menu upgrade. You're going to have a new challenge display, a new updated news system so you can see the news. Of course, they're going to have a play button where if you played rank your last game, you can go ahead and click that button and it will put you right back into rank matchmaking. Also, with a new menu upgrade, you will be able to, after searching game and you're sitting there waiting for it to find a game, you can go back out to the menu mess with your character customization, your news challenges. You can go back and see everything on the menu. You don't have to sit there and look at that loading screen waiting for a, waiting for it to find a game. Guys, there's a lot of changes, especially the rectical system is kind of interesting to me. Of course, Capital and IQ getting their changes is going to make uh, play styles a little different. Of course, with two new operators, it's going to change the meta of the game up a good bit, I think. Guys, leave me a comment. Like I said, I've linked all of the patch notes in the description below. Hope you guys have an awesome day playing Rainbow Six Siege when we get the update here very shortly and get to try everything out, uh, all the new stuff out. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to like, get subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.